Hi, hope you guys are doing well. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. The debate around film versus digital photography, cameras, photos, all everything, and ultimately answer the question, which one I think is better. All right, so let's talk about it. film versus digital. Which one is better? I've been shooting digital for the entirety of my career thus far, and I don't have any plans of stopping shooting digital. Stop shooting digital of st st stop digital stop shootingness of what? I have no plans of not shooting digital for my career. Um, currently, I'm filming on my Canon R5, which is my workhorse for everything. I also have a Canon R here as well. And then uh, I got a few film cameras. I've got my Leica M6 here and some of my other ones here and at home. But I think digital cameras are incredible. I think that the technology that keeps coming out for them is awesome. And it's only giving photographers more tools and more capabilities to capture better images. And I think some of the advantages for digital, it's obviously going to be dynamic range and low light capabilities and autofocus, which is a huge one. And then having a plethora of lenses, lens varieties that you can mount onto these cameras. It's also nice to buy the equipment once and then not have to put more money into the investment, um, which is different with film photography, which I'll touch on. I think some of the disadvantages though, and this is probably a large reason why I have started shooting a lot of film, is there is definitely this cosmetic look to shooting digital. And maybe it's some of it's like the over sharpness of images. They're almost becoming too perfect, which I know sounds absurd, but I think for me at least, that's been a large reason as to why I've been shooting more film. And outside of that, there really aren't, I think, disadvantages to shooting digital. I think digital is great. And to this day, like 95% of my commissioned work is using a digital camera. So I have no intentions of stopping shooting digital. All right, so let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of shooting film. One of the largest disadvantages, uh, well, there is a steep learning curve to shooting film. So I do need to mention that it's pretty different from shooting the digital, but once you figure it out, you're good to go, you figure it out. But I think the biggest disadvantage is the finances that are required to shoot film. And there's not only the initial investment of purchasing the camera or film stocks, which is a constant thing if you keep shooting film, but you need to develop the film, you need to scan the film and all those things you need to pay for. So economically, it's not the best unless you really love it or you begin to monetize shooting film, um, both of which I do. I both love shooting film and I do monetize it. I've rolled it into my business as deliverables. So I'm now making money from shooting film but I think that those are probably the disadvantages of shooting film. I think another one too is the upkeep of these cameras. A lot of these cameras are like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. They're old cameras, which means that once they break, which is inevitably inevitable, they're going to happen eventually because these are old cameras. It's pretty expensive to get them repaired and fixed. And so that's another thing too, is you want to take care of these film cameras because once you break them or you drop them or something happens, they are expensive to fix and they almost always take a very long time to get back from the repairs. So those are some of the disadvantages, but I think some of the great advantages of shooting film are the colors, which are unbeatable in my opinion. There's the dynamic range. And then there's just the different options of film stocks. And there's a ton and it's just fun to experiment and see what you like. and what film stocks you like to use for certain subjects for cer or for certain jobs. And it's the actual use of these cameras, of using the buttons, of loading the film, of winding it. It's just a lot of fun. And I think for me, at least, it's reinvigorated a creativity in me that I feel like I lacked for a few years, but shooting film has really kind of sparked that interest of photography back in me. All right, I have talked enough about the pros and cons of both mediums but i think what would be more helpful for you is to show you some comparison images so i'm gonna flash up here some images that i've taken 
on portrait sessions at weddings, both on digital and film. And maybe you'll start to see what your preferences are. And again, obviously I've edited these images to my style, so it's very subjective, but hopefully it'll give you a good idea of some of the things I mentioned, like dynamic range and color that you're gonna see in the difference between both film and digital. So I'm gonna share some of those images. I hope you like them and I'll see you afterwards. Hopefully you like those comparison images. I'm also a firm believer that the tool does help you achieve what your visual goal is, but it's not the thing that's gonna make that image awesome or special or unique. And that really is contingent on you, the photographer, the artist. So I actually wanna show you some images on a very recent family vacation that I took on both my iPhone 11 and then my Olympus stylus point and shoot camera, and then my Mamiya 7. So I will label which photo was taken with which camera, but I just wanna further drive the point that there is a difference between digital and film, but ultimately it's pretty subjective as far as what you like and the tool that you have on you. Uh, and so I'm gonna show some of those images right now. Hope you like those images as well, taken on both my iPhone and then my film cameras on our recent family vacation. And I'm sure you've figured it out at this point that the answer to that question of film versus digital, which one is better? It's subjective and I love shooting both of those mediums. It really just depends on what the purpose is for the photo that I'm taking. So if it's personal use, if it's for a client, if it's for a wedding, if it's for a commercial job, it, it just depends. And I have only taken personal photos of my family for the past almost two, two and a half years now, strictly on my film cameras and then my iPhone. I have not brought any of my digital cameras, my work cameras to take any of our personal photos. But for my actual jobs that I'm commissioned for, I'm almost always shooting them on a digital camera and then having a film camera there as a supplementary add-on. It really just depends on context. It depends on the purpose, but they're both great. They're both fantastic. Hopefully this was informative to give you more information on the differences and maybe why people shoot digital or film. I think they're great. I know that kind of doesn't really answer the question, but I think it kind of does. Would love a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, bye.